Now we've got Big Bill, we've got Smokey, we've got Willie, and the V-Star is still here. Onyx is still here. Um, long story short, or short story long. Let's do the short story long. Nah, we'll do long story short. See the puddle? The dark spot? That would be fork oil. Uh, alternator is completely out now. Excuse me, stator is completely out now. Uh, exhaust manifold or header gaskets are bad. Um, the carburetors need rebuilt. The, 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 the list is long. And I am so busy. So, I went on a hunt. And the hunt that I went on was for a later model Goldwing. So, the other day I mentioned that um, the V-Star may be going away. Well, the V-Star didn't have to go away. As it turned out, a uh, friend of the family had something for sale that fit the bill. No, it's not the Cub Cadet. Meet the new addition to the family. Yeah, I know. I need to get rid of some motorcycles. And I'm going to. This is a 2004 Honda GL 1800 meticulously maintained We've got all the service records purchased it from the original owner and like I said it was a friend of the family and um, he just got to the point where he can't ride anymore so Miss Zippo and I have already put a couple hundred miles on it this weekend I actually got it for Father's Day um, the evolution from 1986 to 2004 is just incredible. You guys are going to notice that uh, the lights are going to flash. That's because you can lock, unlock, and open parts of this motorcycle with a key fob how cool is that and also the call button I'm not going to hit that it is silly loud um, it's a beautiful bike uh, it just happened to be black I didn't plan it that way I was actually looking at a blue one and fortunately for me this one came in uh, I was looking at uh, 2001, had comparable miles to this one, uh, was not in anywhere near as good a shape, and was a thousand dollars more, so, but anyway, we have a trailer hitch already on it, it's a full frame, two fr it's a full to the frame trailer hitch with a six pin connector, as well as a four pin has two 12 volt outlet sockets back here uh, as I mentioned and I showed it has the remote uh, some other things that it has as far as add-ons go is in this side compartment here it has an auxiliary cable and the auxiliary cable uh, allows you to run an iPod or connect directly to your Android or what have you or iPhone or music device it also has a 12 volt accessory here and they're all key operated so they're not on when the key is off they are on when the key is on um, I have added two things to it and that would be the ram mount x grip 
cell phone holder and the ram mount cup holder now you notice down here it has a tire pressure gauge this tire pressure gauge was mounted right here and it came up the bracket came up and made contact with the windshield there whenever you would turn the handlebars to lock the handlebars in place um, it's got CB capability it has weather band four channel weather band auxiliary input a total of 10 or excuse me 12 radio memory settings uh, it has all kinds of neat functions and options obviously that Smokey doesn't have uh, you know like reverse which is just fantastic uh, the owner did some upgrades to it uh, let's see we'll go ahead and stick the key in there we'll show you some of the upgrades this is a tire pressure monitor there are whoa we got to get rid of that there we go sorry hopefully the audio didn't pick that up um, it has uh, modulated lights so if you'll watch see how that's flashing that's not a warble it is legal to have it and that just helps you get out of sticky situations um, that was added to it uh, there was a Garmin here but since most of us are using our cell phones nowadays um, for GPS it already had a RAM mount on it uh, I did I bought two new two more RAM mounts the Garmin was mounted over here and it was kind of big and bulky and then over here like I say with the tire pressure gauge mounted up here it was way up way up kind of in your line of sight so the way I have things now it's down low out of my line of sight um, what else it has a two memo position air ride it also has this has an alternator versus a stator a true like automotive style 12 volt alternator um, with a voltmeter which lets you know if you've got a problem with your charging system um, it just it's it's got a lot power for days super super comfortable it also has cruise control uh, when you hit the cruise control well it's not going to show it right now because I don't have it there it's cruise control uh, it is fuel injected um, five speed it just I, I'm still kind of beside myself just because of how wonderful it rides how comfortable the ride is uh, it, I really 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 like the ride on Smokey really enjoyed the ride on Smokey it's the same ride but at the same time it's a different ride with Pearl which by the way guys is its name it is Pearl as in the Black Pearl um, and I know I'm stuttering and stammering and, and flopping all over the place uh, he also added highway pegs to it uh, it's got newer tires on it the back tires newer than the front um, they are 25,000 mile tires uh, I don't really know what else to, oh he added the windscreen a new windscreen to it uh, which is taller and it makes it a lot nicer for Miss Zippo. Um, one thing that I will be doing is getting armrest for Miss Zippo and a backrest for myself um, so that we are both comfortable. My back got a little tired today. We rode, how many miles did we ride today? We rode 
114 miles today so um, and that it just made my back a little tired uh, it's got a real deep seat back real deep seat back but my problem was I was just slouching uh, with the backrest I can lean back into it and it helps keep my back straight so I'll be getting a backrest and Ms. Zippo is going to be getting her armrests uh, there's still a lot of aftermarket parts available for this something else that he added uh, safety wise besides the modulated light was um, let's see here let me just a second okay. it's got side lights there and then also side lights there and these also flash so people know when you're turning something else that's really neat about this is that uh, the headlights are or the turn signals rather they're self-canceling they cancel themselves out after you make a turn really neat I really like that uh, I don't know what else to say about it other than Miss Zippo and I uh, definitely stepped up a couple generations uh, from an old century, last century to this century. Uh, this is a V-Stream. It's really hard to see how tall it is. But it comes up to here, but the way that it is shaped, you can see it's kind of bulbous here, and it pulls the wind up, and then it kicks up, and it throws the wind even up over Miss Zippo. Side winds doesn't help a whole lot for either one of us. Uh, it's got four vents for comfort. Vent here, vent there. Two more on the other side. Uh, the windshield is adjustable up and down. Just loosen these two locks. You can move the windshield up and down. Uh, the um, clutch and brake levers are both adjustable in and out for comfort. Um, what else? These are really, really great. It's an aftermarket item, but these are great. It, they, it just keeps the wind off of your hands. So if it's a little chilly out, you're not going to feel it. And if you close off these vents, you get a good bit of heat coming off the engine to help keep you cool as well. Uh, but just uh, all the planets aligned and everything just fell together with this bike it's an, it was just another one of those meant to be things um, in fact uh, Miss Zippo and I we've already got our safety bells on there our guardian angel bells that's engraved with Lisa mine's over here engraved with Sean uh, these trunks open a little differently uh, in that they lay down instead of taking the lids off there is less space on this gold wing but I am in the market for a trailer for when we take longer trips and yes this motorcycle has been to Key West zero mile Key West uh, there was something else that, oh uh, it also has intercom capabilities you can also add a CD play uh, CD changer to it uh, you can add a CB to it uh, all factory stuff and there's just a huge plethora of aftermarket things that you can uh, do to this so far it's been tastefully done uh, Jim did a good job tastefully accentuating different parts of the motorcycle without overdoing it and I, I like his style I'm gonna do just a couple more things that Miss Zippo and I were talking about cosmetic wise uh, but cosmetically the paint is in gorgeous shape got a couple of you got to figure the bike is what 2004 it's 15 years old couple little scuffs and and scrapes here and there uh, just the tiniest little scuff right here um, tiny little scuff right there which would probably buff out just tiny little things now the bike presents itself really 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 well and like I said uh, its name is already Pearl uh,
is Zippo and I named it. Um, and the reason that this one got a girl's name versus a male name, which is typical of how I name things, um, Jim kept calling it her and she. So I wanted to stay true to that. And something else that Jim requested, or Jim's daughter requested, was that the Key West sticker stay on there. So the Key West decal will not come off. It's going to stay on there. And I've sat here and oogled and babbled on for 15 and a half minutes on it. Uh, you guys are going to see this post Sunday Night Live. Um, so if any of you guys have any questions about it or anything like that, uh, feel free to ask. I'm still learning all of its little uh, features and the things that it's capable of doing. I do know that it is capable of riding Ms. Zippo and I down the road in a substantial amount of comfort. So, and that's Ms. Zippo texting me now. So I'm going to hop off of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the new motorcycle in the group. And there will be bikes being sold. I've got to make room in here. So you guys can uh, keep tabs on Facebook Marketplace for that. I'll catch y'all later. Click here if you're not subscribed. And here and over here are a couple of random videos. I promise you guys I'll see you on the next one. Later. I'm out of here.